Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to my vlog. It is the first Monday back from Disney World, so it's I'm trying to like get my stuff together here. I have a gynecologist appointment today that I will <laughs> share with you guys uh, what happens there, but I just made myself some iced coffee. So good. And for like a really quick and easy breakfast, this is actually my favorite breakfast. Um, I do my Sola bread, the deliciously seeded, only two grams net carbs. Back on keto, I honestly did not eat keto when I was in Disney, it was way too hard. Um, and I didn't feel well either, like I got horrible stomach aches, I felt bloated, so I am definitely ready to be back. The second I get back on Friday, actually, I started keto back up when I got home, but I just make two pieces of toast, and then I put the Kerrygold uh, Pure Irish Butter, this is amazing butter, um, on it, and that is literally what I've been eating for breakfast. It's just quick and easy, and it tastes amazing, so. Um, I also went to the grocery store last night, so I wanted to show y'all a few of the things that I picked up. Some of this stuff I get weekly and some of this stuff is new. Um, so I think I can have unsweetened almond milk. I Googled it, um, like what milk you can have on keto because I haven't mil had milk in forever and I really wanted some cereal. I bought a low carb cereal I'll show y'all too. So I got this unsweetened Simply Almond milk. Um, I got some more heavy whipping cream for my coffee and my eggs. I'm only gonna show y'all what I bought like for keto and stuff. So this stuff is like for the boys and for Alex. What is back here? Oh, I got some pickles. Let's see. I love pickles. Pickles are really great when you're on keto and they have a lot of electrolytes in them, which you need. So I got these hot pickle chips. I've had this brand before and it's very good. And then I picked up these, which y'all know I used to uh, have like every single day. I think I can still have them because they're just avocado salad rolls, um, but I can't have like that sweet chili sauce that it comes with because that has too much sugar in it. So I'm gonna probably like maybe dip it in some, I don't know, can I have soy sauce? I'm not sure, I have to figure out what I can dip this in or I guess I'll just eat it plain, but that won't taste that great. So then I picked up the zucchini noodles. This is what I make for myself with like a homemade Alfredo cream sauce for dinner with some chicken and then I just make pasta for like the boys and Alex. Okay, I found some new cheese wraps. From, this is from Crystal Farm, so it's a different brand, but I wanted to try the Marble Jack. I love using these cheese wraps for like turkey meat, deli meat, like tuna. You can use these for whatever and they're really good. Uh-oh, my fridge is going off, of course. A bunch of chicken, some ground chicken for my tacos, and then this, I actually, when my mom came last week before Disney, we picked this up and we threw these in the oven and um, put a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper on them, and they were so good roasted. So I'm gonna do this for myself just so I can eat some veggies throughout the week. A bunch of veggies, jalapenos, things in there for tacos. All right, let's go check the pantry. Quentin? Quentin? Get down. You're not supposed to be up here. You get down. Who's that? <laughs> Brother, it's Cam. Oh my gosh. So I know they put keto friendly on a lot of things that usually aren't keto. Um, and I'm hoping this isn't one of them. I kind of need to look into it a little bit more, but I've seen this in the grocery store a few times. They also have like a vanilla cinnamon uh, flavor too. So I need to check this out and make sure that it actually is keto, but I've been looking for a keto friendly cereal. I've kind of missed cereal and that's why I grabbed that almond, that unsweetened almond milk too. So I'm going to try this as a snack, but I just got like the dark cocoa one. It says there is 19 carbs, but to get to the net carbs, you have to subtract like the dietary fiber and like all that stuff. So it ends up being, I don't know. I'm not doing math right now, you guys, but oh, here it is down here. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so per serving it ends up being 10 grams of net carbs, which is a lot. Wow, I didn't even realize that. That's a lot. This is, would be like a dinner. If I don't feel like cooking dinner, I'd probably just have a bowl of cereal one night because 10 grams of net carbs is a lot when you're doing keto, so I don't know about that now. Good morning, guys, or afternoon. Oh my gosh, what is this? I look like a hot mess right now. I just got in the car. It's pouring outside. It actually stopped for like a second. Um, but it's been pouring all day today and I am about to go to my OBGYN appointment. First OBGYN appointment in North Carolina. So this is like a new doctor um, and I'm hoping that I really like her. Um, I am gonna get just like my, I guess yearly, is it yearly or is it every other year? I don't know, but I'm due for just like a regular, you know, checkup, pap smear, all of that. 
and then I'm gonna talk to her about Clomid, tell her like my story, how I had to take Clomid with my previous two pregnancies and that, you know, I would like to get prescribed it again and have it um, so that I am able to use it when we start trying. And I don't know what she's gonna tell me, honestly. I don't know if she's gonna say, look, that's not how we do it here. Like my old OB um, back in Maryland was like super, um, chill and laid back and didn't really, you know, make me go through a lot to prescribe me Clomid. She was like, y'all have been trying for, you know, six months now, obviously it's not working. I'm gonna go ahead and prescribe you Clomid um, to help you ovulate and, cause I was not ovulating and it worked. So she prescribed me it again for, to get pregnant with Quentin um, and it worked. I'm just hoping that this, OB is, you know, chill like my other one and doesn't give me a hard time and doesn't make me, you know, do all these things and tests. And like, yeah, it'd be good to kind of figure out what's going on. Like if I do have PCOS or whatever the problem is. But then again, like I know that Clomid works for me. Um, and so I'd rather just go ahead and take the Clomid and get pregnant rather than like having to do all these tests and all this stuff. Also, um, y'all know I am doing keto and that is known to help fertility issues um so i mean there's i guess there's a chance that i could just go ahead and get pregnant on my own without clomid which would be awesome um and alex and i are not like preventing anything right now um so i guess it could happen but we will see what the doctor says my OBGYN. Sorry for the noise. It is downpouring right now. We actually had a tornado warning, but it wasn't like in this specific area, but it was in uh, Charlotte. I think like more towards, I don't know, maybe the city. I'm not really sure, but it is downpouring and I'm probably going to wait it out like five minutes before trying to drive home. Hopefully it'll pass, but just got out of my OB appointment. It went really well. The new doctor is super sweet, very nice. Um, and the best part is she already prescribed me Clomid. So um, she was just like, yeah, like, you know, you had to take it before to get pregnant. Um, and so let's just go ahead and get you the Clomid. I told her that we are like, we want to try soon. Um, and again, y'all know, I don't know if you can hear me. I really hope you can. <laughs> y'all know that my mind changes so much with, um, trying for the third kid and Quentin is about to be two in like two weeks which I can't believe and I just want to make sure that I just want to have the Clomid like with me so I have the prescription right here um, I'm gonna get it filled so that I have it in my hands and then she said that if I want to be prescribed Provera to trigger my period that she can go ahead and do that but oh the rain slowed down thank goodness but she said as of right now my last period was April 2nd and I haven't had it again. And she said, um, you know, maybe I should just wait to get my next period. And then if I want to go ahead and take the Clomid, then I can, or, you know, wait for whenever or get Provera, whatever I want to do. So I'm going to get that filled and then we'll see what happens. We'll see. Whoa. I should probably get going home. That was scary. Um, but anyway, we'll see what happens, um, from here on out, but yeah, everything went well. So I'm going to go ahead and head home while the rain has slowed down and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. One more thing. Y'all went crazy on Instagram over my new bag. Um, so I showed this in a bunch of my Instagram pictures at Disney and I'm obsessed with it. Like it is one of my favorite purchases ever recently. Um, I'm going to link it down below if they're still in stock. I know they sold out last time, but I think they've restocked. I'm pretty sure they're still in stock right now. They also have like the light color, but I think that's on pre-order. So like the Louis dupe, but like the white and gray version. I love this classic brown, so I always just go for this color. Um, but very high quality dupe. It's just designer inspired. I mean, it doesn't have the LV on it or anything like that, but I love the size and I do wear it um, like a cross like this. 
and it is just so nice to have my hands free nothing is like you know when you have a crossbody and it kind of just like when you're walking it bounces on your hip so annoying right <laughs> so i love that this just kind of goes across the front doesn't hurt my shoulder at all the zipper is so nice like it is so smooth does not get stuck very high quality um, and it's affordable um, and I think that there's also a 20% off coupon if you go to the website um, again the link will be down below but if you click on the website you can sign up for like their emails or something like that and you'll get like a 20% off coupon so definitely take advantage of that that's what I did um, but how cute you guys it's so cute so in case you have questions I'll link that up for you. Okay, so I have been thinking about Quentin's birthday because his birthday is in a little over two weeks. He's gonna be two and I haven't planned anything and I just got back from Disney World and so I feel like now's the time to plan something Mama. if I'm going to because I only have... Mama. Yes, honey, come here. You want a snack? Because I only have two weeks. So I've been trying to think... Okay, I'm gonna get you one, okay. So I've been trying to think of what to do for him and my mom is gonna come visit I think that weekend with my grandmother and possibly my aunt, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna do a little party and I think what he would like the most is animals. He loves animals. So I'm thinking of doing like a little petting zoo. Originally I was gonna have them come to our house but I think it'd be more fun to go to like a little farm. So I've contacted a few different farms around the area that do birthday parties and events and things like that. Um, and I'm just waiting to hear back from a couple more and then I'm gonna decide which one to go to and I'll probably just like get catering or like pizzas or something um, delivered but I think he would love that and then I don't have to like okay okay and then I don't have to mess with like the house you know what I mean like just bring the party elsewhere <laughs> let them do it and um, and then we're good what do you think about that huh mm -hmm. all right you guys first of all these are all the clothes that I need to fold. This is like two huge um, like laundry bins of my laundry for the past like, I don't know, three weeks now. So I have so much that I need to fold. I threw it on my bed so I'm gonna have to do it tonight before I get in. But I just got this stuff delivered and I wanted to show you how cute this is. So I literally ordered this maybe two days ago for Quentin's birthday because I just planned it at a farm. And so I looked online for just a cute little outfit for him to wear and I literally just Googled like two year old birthday outfit and this popped up and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So it's like a little seersucker um, overall. I think it's called a short, a short overall. I'm not sure. It's got the little buttons at the top. Hopefully this is focusing. I think I need to get a new camera. I'm pretty sure this is broken. Um, but it's got the little cute buttons at the top with the cupcake balloons and the two it's like stitched in really nice quality um, and then you've got like the little shorts and it's perfect it's from mud pie they have some really cute things there um, I'll link it down below they also have like one two three four I mean they've got like all the birthdays and their stuff is adorable so this is what Quentin's gonna wear on his birthday maybe with his little man bun who knows um, and then I also ordered this from mud pie I saw these and I thought they were so cute. These are little kitchen towels. So I got the turnip one. It says lettuce, lettuce, turnip, the beet. I thought that was cute. And then I got the avocado, of course, holy guacamole. So I'm just gonna hang these on my, um, my oven. And I just thought they were really cute. They had a few other ones too, um, with like the stitching and the vegetables. Um, but I liked these the best. So I'll link these down below too, but you guys should definitely check out Mud Pie, like the website because they have like the cutest, like little, even like for housewarming gifts, they have like the cutest things on their site. Okay guys, look what just got here. The coffee table, this was custom made by Hill Built It. Um, I think it's Hill Built It Creations. I can't think of the exact name, but they're an Instagram shop based out of High Point, North Carolina. And um, I reached out to them and they made me the perfect coffee table. Like. This is the coffee table of my dreams. It's actually better than I even expected. Um, I don't know if the camera's even doing it justice with the color. I'm trying to get some good lighting in here, but I love the, um, the finish. I love the color. I love that it has this at the bottom. Um, the boys have already been like crawling in here, but you can actually flip it the other way. So like, let's say I get a scratch on it or something happens to the top. 
it is pretty much reversible. So I, <laughs> they told me that I could flip it completely and it'd be the exact same thing on the bottom, which is amazing, but it's complete wood. Like the entire thing is made out of wood. It's nice and sturdy and heavy. Um, like I love the thickness. I love everything about it, you guys, it's perfect. And it's the perfect size too. And I'm very happy that I went with a round because y'all know I was thinking about doing like a square rectangle and I feel like the round actually fits so much better in this space and with this couch, it looks perfect. I'm going to link them down below. Like I'll, I'll put their Instagram handle and their website. Um, but they do deliver like all over, like everywhere. You don't have to live in North Carolina. They deliver all over the place. And they do custom pieces and they have a bunch of um, like examples of all the different pieces that they've made on their Instagram. And their work is like phenomenal. I cannot recommend them enough. So if you're looking for a custom piece of furniture, definitely check them out. definitely broke my camera in Disney I dropped it and now the viewfinder like is like not fully attached it kind of seems like it's gonna fall off I also feel like the quality of the camera um, I don't know I just feel like it's it's on its last leg so I'm looking into getting a new vlogging camera um, I also wanted to update you guys on my schedule I am now going to be uploading two vlogs a week new schedule for you guys so i'm going to be getting two videos up a week they're not necessarily going to be like day in the life vlogs although that's typically what i film because i like filming that the most but i'm also going to include like q and a's um some maybe like organizing and cleaning get ready with me i don't know i don't know what else we'll see but two videos a week and i'm aiming to have them up like tuesday and thursday um so that's very exciting. I'm really gonna try very hard to get these vlogs up for you guys. I really want to concentrate more on my YouTube channel. Um, I feel like I've been concentrating so much on Instagram um, and I love Instagram. I love doing stories and I love posting pictures and everything like that, but I really do miss YouTube and I'm gonna try my best to get these two videos up a week. I'm not gonna do more than two. I'm gonna start with two and see how that goes, see how much I can handle. I think three is way too much for me, <clears throat> honestly, but we're gonna do two and I'm excited about it. First of all, I got some new lashes in. I don't know if I shared this or not. I know I did on Instagram, but my favorite brand, Blinkafly, they're the lashes that I use that last a week. I switch them out every single week. I sleep in them, I shower in them, and they don't come off. They're amazing. So it's pretty much like do-it-yourself at home eyelash extensions. Um, so y'all know I don't go and get my extensions put on anymore. It saves me so much time and so much money to do it myself. And so, Anyway, Blink Apply just came out with a new style of lashes called the Princess and they are beautiful, you guys. They're kind of like in between the Darling and the Classic, which are my two favorite styles. Um, and I'm wearing them right now. If you can, uh, if you can see. I'll link them down below. I do have a code for 10% off, Liza10. And then also if you guys wanna pick up any glue, I highly recommend if you're gonna put these lashes on to use the glue. There's two different, two or three different kinds, I think. This one is their newer one, the No Fly Ultra Stick Adhesive. So this, this one's really good. And then there, there's another glue that I believe is called Lash Lock. And that's another, I actually think I might like that one a little bit more than this one, but they're both really good. So yeah, just in case any of you guys were wondering or like needing some new lashes or wanted to try like at home extensions, highly recommend a Blink of Fly because they are amazing and they're like a game changer. Last but not least. So talked about this in stories on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go follow me there. Y'all know that I'm a wino and I love my wine and I love red wine. Like I've always loved red wine, probably ever since you started watching me. Um, but the past like month or so, even the thought of red wine is so gross to me. I have not had red wine in forever. Um, and I like don't even want it like, and it's sad because I love red wine and I have so many bottles in my kitchen, but like none are opened because I'm like, ew, like it literally makes me want to gag. 
so weird i don't know why all of a sudden i can't drink red wine but it's just been a thing for the past month and i'm thinking maybe it has to do with keto i don't know if like now that i'm doing keto that has just changed my preferences for like alcoholic beverages or or what so anyway i mentioned this on stories and of course i knew that y'all were gonna be like you're pregnant like keto baby because i don't really ovulate on my own i have to take clomid um which you all saw earlier in the vlog i went and got my prescription for clomid and so i don't ovulate on my own i need help which is why i take the pills so many of you guys like an insane amount of people reached out to me saying like keto babies are a real thing people have struggled with infertility for years and then they do keto and all of a sudden they wind up pregnant and like i knew that too but like i'm just like i just don't think that's me you know but then the other day i started feeling nauseous probably for two or three days in a row more towards like nighttime like after my shower and like you know dinner time and like cleaning up the kitchen like i'll start feeling really nauseous there's actually a stomach bug going around my area too uh, my girlfriend jen and her family they got the stomach bug poor thing and um i was like oh no i hope i didn't get it even though i hadn't been around her but like we live in the same you know community so i'm like you know maybe i caught it but i don't think that's it because i never threw up i just felt really nauseous and I brought that up on Instagram too. And y'all are like, look, Liza, like go take a pregnancy test because you can be pregnant. And I'm like, no, I, I highly, you guys, I'm telling you right now, I highly, highly, highly doubt that I am. I'm gonna take a pregnancy test because I, the, the DMs are crazy. And like, everyone's just telling me, like, just go make sure that you're not. So anyway, I'm probably gonna go take this later today or tonight or something and we'll see. But I really don't think I am. You guys don't get excited or anything like that. Like. I'm like 99% sure that I'm that I'm not because I feel like I know when I am like my boobs are sore and I have like these other symptoms that I've had with my two previous pregnancies and I, I don't have any of those symptoms other than just like being nauseous here and there and then like not wanting red wine I don't have any other symptoms I just don't feel like I am um, if that makes sense so anyway I'll take the test for y'all <laughs> so maybe I will include that in my next vlog I don't know we'll see I think that's it for this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel stay tuned because I'm gonna really try to get these two videos up a week for you now um, I've kind of like changed some things in my schedule I figured some things out um, and I, I think that I can now do this for you guys and I'm really excited to kind of try and be back in the game with YouTube I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like and a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in my next one.